So uh, just finished the sparring session um, and I'm gonna go home and get some food now. Um, watch some NFL and then it's time to head over to Leicester and I've got uh, strength and conditioning at five o'clock and then Jiu Jitsu at seven o'clock. So uh, just two more sessions to go. What weight are you at the moment? Because I remember when I saw you on the 14th of September, you were around about 200. Yeah, I'm a one. I was 187 this morning, um, which is which is about right for this weight. It's a little lighter actually than I normally am, but this it's been a, this training camp's been harder than than any other one. So I think that's why the weight's come down so fast. So when it gets to kind of fight week, what would you normally be weighing in that say on like uh, the Tuesday, Wednesday before the fight? Well, the, the Monday I wake up is normally the weight I go back in the fight at and normally I'm about 183. Um, sorry, no. The, yeah, the, the Monday morning I wake up is normally uh, the weight that I am before I go to bed on the Thursday night uh, before the weigh-in. So like, if I wake up on Monday morning at 183, I'm normally, I normally know that over the week I bring my carbs down and, and uh, load wa water load. So I'm like really hydrated and stuff. And then when it comes to sweating out, a lot of the weight then is just water. My, my body weight kind of maintains. So then I'm gonna wake up on the warm morning of the, of the Friday for the weigh-in. And I'm normally about 177, 178. And then, um, and then I just have, you know, like maybe five pounds to cut. And because there's, because there's quite a bit of time between, between finishing weight cutting and getting actually on the scales, I normally cut to like 172 and then just let the rest, the rest of the weight come off gradually as I'm waiting, waiting to get on the scales. A lot of fighters use IVs and stuff, uh, which is something that we're, we're looking into at the moment. So what, what's the purpose of that? Is it just rehydrating? It's just rehydrating, yeah. Because if I was... Uh, if I went to a hospital as dehydrated as I am when, when I finish weighing in, they'd just put me straight on an IV. And it's it's just it's because the quickest and safest way to get the get the fluids back in you. So uh, we're looking into that at the moment. A lot of fighters already use it, but I'm still on a I'm still a salt and water kind of guy at the moment. Old school. Yeah, old school, you know. Salt and water and then as soon as I'm hydrated it's as much carbs and as I can stomach. Uh, normally, uh, normally the night of after the weigh-in, normally when it gets to midnight, I'm about 188. And that's normally about, my, about the weight that I get back in at. I'm planning on being a little lighter for this fight though, um, because Swick's not particularly heavy, and the pace I'm gonna put on him is gonna be way too much for him to handle. Uh, so that's, that, that's my, it, it, again, it all depends on the opponent. If I'm fighting someone who's huge, then I'm gonna make sure I'm a little heavier, so I'm a little more difficult to move around. So if you're fighting someone like Anthony Johnson, you're gonna put a bit much of the weight on. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. That'd be more of a power-based fight because he wants to he wants to get in close and stand and trade, and he's got a lot of power, but technically he's not he's not a, as good a striker as me. So I would have to rely on on being able to land cleaner punches. In more a quicker succession, but obviously, if, if he decides to use his wrestling, because from what I understand, he's a very good wrestler. I would need to be as heavy and as you know as difficult to move around as possible, just to make sure he's not, you know, he's not getting an easy ride. This is Cowboys Falcons. This is a big good game. It's just too much fucking talking in these programs. I've got no interest in what any of these guys have got to say.